This is one of my favorite tools for building out voice AI agents. It's called Vapi AI, and I built out a voice AI agent for Mike's Plumbing using this tool. So on this showcase video today, I'm gonna walk you through how I built out this voice AI receptionist, again, for Mike's Plumbing. I'm gonna show you all of the backend automations inside of make.com, and I'm gonna give you a quick demo, so let's dive into it. Hey, this is Mike's Plumbing, how can I help you? Hey, what's up, I have an emergency. I have a burst pipe downstairs. I don't know how to fix it. I shut off the water, but I need someone to come take a look at it and repair it ASAP. So I'm just curious if you guys could make it out to my home anytime soon. Thanks for letting me know. It sounds urgent. We offer 24 seven emergency plumbing service, so let's get someone out to you as quickly as possible. Let me quickly grab your information to dispatch a plumber right away. What's your full name? Michael Scott. Thanks, Michael. What's a good phone number for you? Good phone number is 385-404-6885. Thank you. Let me read that back to you. Sure. 385-404-6885. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Great. Thank you. Next, what's the street address where you need the service? 455 Main Street, Pleasant Grove. Thank you. Just to confirm, is your address 455 Main Street, Pleasant Grove? Yeah, that's correct. Perfect. To confirm, I'm scheduling an emergency plumbing call for a burst pipe at 455 Main Street, Pleasant Grove, and your number is 385-404-6885. Is that all correct? Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. One moment while I dispatch a plumber to your location right away. You're all set. I've dispatched a plumber immediately for emergency service and they'll be heading your way as soon as possible, usually arriving within one hour. Please stay safe and you'll get a text update when the technician is on the way. Is there anything else I can help you with right now? Uh, no, that's it, thank you. Thanks for calling, goodbye. And just like that, the emergency service call is scheduled inside of Mike's calendar and a technician is being sent out to Michael Scott's home right away. It even captured all of the necessary information like the phone number, the name, the service address, all without any errors. This is Airtable acting as Mike's CRM. We store every single AI agent conversation inside of this AI agent conversations table. So this is when the call was had, the name, the phone, the transcript. We can also see if we head over to the opportunities tab, we can also see that Michael Scott was added successfully as a new record because he didn't exist in our system already. So we have Michael Scott's phone number, we have the stage as appointment booked, we have the street address, we have the notes right here. So 11-3-2025 is an emergency service call for a burst pipe repair that needs uh, basically repair as soon as possible. And then we also store the entire AI agent conversation to Michael Scott's record in the CRM with the date, with the full summary and the entire transcript that you see right here. Really cool stuff. I wanna show you how I kind of built this out. So Vapi is the foundation behind all of this. You basically hop in here and configure the AI agent with a first message, a system prompt. You select which AI voice provider you want. Eleven Labs is the best AI voice provider. And I'm using this Aaron Natural Conversation. For transcribing, I'm using DeepGram Nova 3. And it's multilingual, so it can speak and adapt if the person on the other end, the customer, starts speaking Spanish or Japanese, whatever language. It can just adapt on the fly and start carrying on the conversation in their language. It's really cool stuff. So basically, you're configuring the entire AI agent right here, hooking it up up to backend automations in make.com. These are the tools. So we have the next 31 days of calendar context. This is crucial so that the AI agent doesn't hallucinate and just come up with random dates and times. Without this, it will go ahead and, and try booking the call in the calendar, but it'll probably be for if you're anything like me and testing this out without calendar context, it's like 2024 July. Uh, 20th, right? So that's a year in the past because I'm making this video in the beginning of November of 2025. So AI can hallucinate if you don't give it the context of, hey, today's current date is 
November 3rd on Monday, the time is 1.24 p.m., right? And then the rest of the month looks like this. So tomorrow is Tuesday, November 4th. The day after that is Wednesday, November 5th, and so on. So it gives the AI agent context so that it never hallucinates and it gets it correct inside of the calendar every single time. We're hitting up cal.com to check for availability. So this was for an emergency service. I wanna pull up cal.com really quick for you guys. So in cal.com, I have four different event types. I have a one hour diagnostic or one hour consultation visit. I have a two hour standard service call. I also have a four hour extended service call and a Mike's plumbing emergency service call right here that it checked the availability and then executed and booked an event using this event type right here. So it's really cool stuff. This template is much more robust than just um, checking general availability inside of a Google Calendar and then booking um, really any service using Google Calendar. You can do it this way, but there's much more room for error that I find. Configuring up your AI agents, your AI receptionists, your AI voice agents of any sort that uh, needs booking capabilities into calendars cal.com is the way to go. So that's what this scenario is taking care of. It's checking for availability, making sure there's available times or when's the next soonest available time that a technician can get out to, in this case, Michael Scott's home. Then we're actually hitting this scenario right here where we're booking using that event type, we're booking into that calendar right here and then updating the CRM. And then getting back to all these webhook response modules that you see right here are sending data back to our uh, VAPI AI agent, basically saying in this case, it's, hey, the call was successful booked or in this case for the next 31 days of calendar context we're sending this whole uh, json body of the next 31 days of calendar context back to the ai agent inside of vapi so cool stuff at the very end of it when the call hangs up the call concludes it goes through its analysis on vapi's end and then it sends all the data for that conversation over to this post call webhook right here which we're then extracting certain pieces of information like phone number address customer's name all that stuff and then we're updating our tables inside of Airtable. Again, this is kind of just acting as our CRM. So we're updating this cell right here for the AI agent conversation. We're also adding the AI agent conversation uh, transcript and everything, all those details to this specific table. So we're keeping track of every single conversation that's had for voice agents and for the chat agent as well, which I want to talk about really quick. So on Mike's Plumbing on the website, you can actually embed these widgets. And these widgets can be voice capabilities, or they can be chat capabilities, or they can be both. So we just want chat capability for this uh, chat bot, essentially. It's the exact same thing, does the exact same, calls upon the exact same tools and backend automations inside of make.com. The only difference is we're not interacting with our voice. It's just a chat bot on their website. Standard chat bot's been around for ages, right? This is just an AI chat bot. And Vappy is just a little bit weird. You have to take additional steps when you are wanting to keep track and process chats. So I have these two uh, backend automations inside of make.com. Whenever a chat is created, I'm basically appending this table that you see right here. So whenever I say, let's say, see if it kicks on right now. So I initiate the conversation right here. Hi, what plumbing issue are you dealing with today? I can go over here to the AI agent conversations table and you can see that a new record was just created because a new chat just started. Started. We're logging the chat session ID and marking the status as pending. We periodically check in using this workflow right here in make.com. It's the last workflow in the whole build. We're periodically checking in to see if there's any pending chats in this table right here that need to be uh, basically called upon and extracted and uh, processed through the system. So if there's a conversation that's in the pending status, we're basically pulling that and saying, hey, is it older than 30 minutes? If so, process through the system. We're gonna determine the importance using OpenAI. We're also going to extract any names phone numbers and a summary to just summarize the entire conversation. And then we're essentially doing the same thing that we would do in the post call workflow right here, where we're just uh, adding all this information that you see right here. So name, email, phone, transcript. And if something was booked, like if the event was booked, then we're actually hitting up the CRM in the opportunities table to see, hey, uh, does this person exist? If so, match it up to their record. And we're gonna append their record with this AI agent conversation that was just had via the chat bot, if that kind of makes sense. So that's a very, very uh, high level overview of the entire build. Vapi AI is a really, really cool tool. I have the entire tutorial video for you guys. It's two hours long over in Automate What Academy Pro. So if you go to the classroom and inside of the template library, it's going to be the first one, I guess, depending on when you're viewing this video. But we have the entire build right here. Again, two hours, one minute. Uh, with all of the resource and blueprint files that you need to build this out yourself. And you can actually go out into the real world and literally turn this around and start selling to 
other home service businesses. It's really cool stuff and you can charge hundreds of dollars per month. I do it. It's the hottest AI tool on the market right now. Everybody's building out these AI voice agents, AI receptionists, AI cold calling agents. It's really cool stuff. If you guys are just looking for the template files and resources without the full tutorial video of how to build this out, then you can hop over here into my free community. It's Automate What Academy. And then just hop over here to YouTube resources and you can find it here. Or you can just hit up the classroom and underneath this free resource resources section, you'll find it here as well. I'll link both of the communities down below in the description for you guys. Be sure to reach out to me, whether it's in the comments of this video, or you can even hit me up on school. Ask any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And of course, lastly, back in Automate What Academy Pro, I have so many more templates available for you guys with the full breakdown tutorial video and the blueprint files for you. So just something to consider, you might want to come check it out. On top of templates, they're great, they're fun, they're awesome. I actually teach you guys how to actually jump into this space of AI automation and land your first client to start making thousands of dollars every single month. If that's not enough, I have a full AI agent section, a full make.com pro section, where I'll take you from absolute beginner to my level. I also offer live calls throughout each week. These are tech support calls, so I'll help you get unstuck with any roadblocks that you encounter as you build out a project for yourself or for your clients. There's so much value to those calls alone. Anyway, that's enough about my communities. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love teaching people about AI and automation. You can build some really cool stuff. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already for more AI and automation content. Thanks guys.